Hi everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's project is for Spellbinders sharing some really beautiful dies from Becca Feakin. These dies are called Flourished Fretwork. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous and I made two cards. Um, I also added some glimmer hot foil um, accents to these beautiful background dies. So this is the first one. Um, <laughs> these names are pretty hard to pronounce, so I will have it in the description. Um, but this is all the dies that you get in this square set. So this piece cuts out a square, uh, complete square panel, if that makes sense. So I cut that out in this using this Lagoon cardstock. I did all my die cutting off camera just so it would save time and I can show you how I put this together. Once I cut that out, I took the next piece in the die set, which cut out all those little squares around. And as you can see, that's how that fits in there. And so this is going to be the background piece of the card. Then for the next piece, Oh, we'll get there in a second. You can see those two cut that nice square piece out. Um, you don't have to use both of those pieces if you didn't want to in conjunction. You can use this however you want. There's so many possibilities. This is the next size down um, square die cut. And I cut that out of uh, white diamond glitter cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. And then I'm taking those two pieces together, the square die cut and then this detailed die cut to make this next piece. And this is out of Rose Quartz cardstock. And isn't that stunning, all the detail? Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? So I cut that out together and all of these layer on top of each other. Then you have the center circle pieces. And I cut that out of the white diamond glitter cardstock. So there's the circle that cuts it out. And then the other die cut cuts out all of the detail. And again, these just layer upon each other, which is stunning. Now, if you didn't want to cut out a separate circle, in this pink piece, you could just take the detailed circle die cut and cut it out, which I'll show you in just a second. But that's how everything layers together. But if you didn't want to do it that way, you could just take this die cut, place it in that center and run that through your die cut machine. And then that hole would have all of the detail to it. So again, lots of options on how you can put that together. So I did make a square card base. I believe this is four and a half by four and a half, I think, uh, because the die cuts are about four and a quarter, I believe. Um, so I'm going to glue these together with some liquid glue and we're going to put this card together. It's super, super simple. So I'm using some Lawn Fawn glue tube. Any liquid glue would work just fine. Getting it in the center and around the edges because that's where I want it to mainly stick. I really wasn't worried too much about those other pieces. Just where there were some thicker parts of cardstock is where I added some dots of glue. So I'm going to apply that to that white glitter background. And that pink again was rose quartz. Uh, cardstock. Then I'm going to add this blue lagoon background piece to our white card base. Um, lately I've made some square cards and they are really a lot of fun. I need to get some square envelopes though otherwise I'm never going to mail these off. So, but this has been a lot of fun. So I added a little bit of liquid glue around the outside edge and added some tape runner to the inside and I'm centering that in my white card base. And then we're going to build this up. I'm just using an acrylic block to hold down until that liquid glue dries and it dries pretty quick. Now cutting this, this circle that we're going to put in the center, you could cut this out numerous times out of cardstock if you wanted this to have dimension or you could cut it out of fun foam and put it behind this. Um, I wasn't worried about that. I also thought after I was done that that circle would have been pretty in that lagoon color. So there's lots of options as far as the colors go. Um, what I decided to do was a little bit of glimmer hot foil flowers and a glimmer hot foil sentiment that I'm going to be using 
on this card. So for that pink background, I've used some foam tape because I wanted this part of my card to have dimension. And you could also cut out a separate circle of a different color and then apply that um, intricate die cut circle on top of that. So again, lots of options, lots of different ways to do some color. Um, Really, I think these dies are absolutely gorgeous. I've seen them for quite a while, and so um, when Spellbinders asked if I would like to do this project, I was more than excited because I just think these are so stunning. Now, these are some uh, flowers, some Glimmer Hot Foil flowers. These are uh, Yana's Glimmer Hot Foil Foliage Borders, border, excuse me, and, <clears throat> excuse me, I did that off camera to save time. I used some foam tape behind some of them and some liquid glue behind some of them. And I've got the flowers and the leaves. I used Aura Foil, the Aura Glimmer Foil. I think it's my favorite foil because it's gold, but it's got this iridescence to it. And I just love it on everything. Then I did a sentiment that says, Sending My Love from Yana's Sentiments. And I'm going to be putting that with some foam tape in the center once we get all of these flowers and leaves tucked in and around. You could do stamped flowers on this. Actually, you wouldn't need to do any flowers if you didn't want to. You could just put a sentiment right across the center, uh, which is what I'm going to be doing on the next card. The next card's a little simpler. But there's that sentiment saying, sending my love, again, using the Glimmer Hot Foil system. And then we're just going to add a few um, clear diamond jewels. I got these at my local craft store like a thousand years ago. So I'm just adding a few of those around. And then this card is going to be done because there's so much detail to the die cut that you don't need a whole lot. Something else that would be cute on here is if you have like those paper flowers. And I used to have a ton of those and I got rid of them because I never used them. But that would be beautiful on this card. Okay, on to the next die set. This has uh, a few less dies than that first one that we worked on. Still is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I did this a little bit differently than I didn't use the largest die. Um, I went in with the second piece here and put that on a piece of parcel wrap cardstock. And I just die cut it out. And don't worry about that center hole. I just cut that out to not use any other paper because that's going to be covered. So normally you would use this and then you would take this outside die and it would cut that whole piece out. Um, but again, I chose to do a different option. I just used that one piece and cut out like the little floral details, I guess, off the sides. So that's how I cut that piece. Then I took the oval die cut and cut it out of Madero Beach cardstock, again from Cardstock Warehouse. And it's, this is like their craft card stock. Um, and I just thought it would be really, really pretty with this. So then taking that oval die cut again, and then this beautiful detailed die cut, cutting that out. Then you get this piece that is cut out of rose gold mirror card stock. So those two die cuts together give you this beautiful piece here. I love all that detail. Then you have this little oval circle, and I cut that out of the Madero Beach cardstock again. So there's that piece that's cut out of there. You guys, it's really super simple to put these together. So now I'm going to adhere this parcel wrap piece of cardstock. It is trimmed down slightly smaller than an A2 size card base, and I'm applying that and I'm adhering that down and then I'm going to glue my rose gold mirror piece to my Madero Oval Beach um, full piece of cardstock. I still had some little pieces left. I thought I got all of them out, but I didn't. So a little bit of glue around the edges and in the center. And then I'm just going to line that up. And again, I'm just going to use my acrylic block to weigh that down. I did put some foam tape behind it, and I'm going to center that. And then a little bit of foam tape behind this center oval. 
put that right in the center. And I love that you can still see that uh, mirror cardstock around that oval. Here is another sentiment, a glimmer hot foil sentiment from Yana's sentiments that says happy birthday. And I did espresso bean foil for that. I'm also adding some Nouveau crystal drops in caramel cream. And if you can see on each side, there's little dots that were die cut out. I'm actually adding um, this uh, caramel cream Nouveau crystal drop to those little dots and then adding some all over the image. So all those little dots, I just kind of felt like it needed a little, a little more embellishment. This is really a simple um, card as far as color goes, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. So can you see how nice that is? I love this. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by. I appreciate all of your support. I hope that you feel inspired by these projects. If you like what you've seen, please thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share with your crafty friends. I want to say thank you to Spellbinders for letting me do projects for you. I really appreciate that. You guys, I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you nothing, but it does help me to make these videos. So thank you so much for using them. And I will be seeing you guys shortly. Bye.